Right, Shalom, my Shalom, my staff is always about giving no praise to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai. But the most apostle GMS and honesty, bros, they're doing the work in truth, war, sincerity. Um, I'd actually just typed in something, watching uh, something Apostle Taha did, and I typed in a statement he made so that I could remember to do a video on it, right? Um, and then this was the second result, this is uh, from June 17th, 2013, so it's quite a while back. Um, when you actually read it, you know, I, I read it and I was just like, you know, these guys are just slandering, man, they're slandering. So I'll just go through this real quick, right? So the first thing I noticed, or one of the first things I noticed rather, um, that we'll talk on in this, it says this immoral camp. Now, why have I highlighted immoral? Because what, when you read like your your CNN news story or whatever bullshit news story, um, you know, they will have a lot of this thing called emotive language where they sway your opinion. Or, you know, they sway feminine men's opinion, really and truly, by using all these, you know, this soft, oh, make you feel a type of way language, right? You know, emotive language is the deliberate choice of words to elicit emotion, usually to influence. Ideas can be expressed non-emotively. For example, the men were killed, right? And, and, and that's the thing, ideas can be expressed non-emotively, the men were killed. Right, but you know the way this guy's written, he would have written it, written it as, oh the, the gentleman, you know, with two kids and this that and the other was brutally murdered because of X, Y, and Z, right? That's you know, but you know, like I said, you just emotive languages, and you you see that again later on. Right, it says uh, the above, uh, you basically says Christ's second coming. Christ isn't gonna have a second coming because he never had a first coming. Yeah, how Shah is gonna have a sec second come and when he comes he's gonna he's gonna destroy you know, just absolutely destroyed. You know? And once again you get more of this emotive language, you know, it's talking about oh, whatever, what have you. You know, um, you know, doesn't even have respect, you know. Just calls calls the apostle by you know, by his slave name. Alright. Uh, what else I see, and then you know this this whole quote rate doctrine again, which is not a doctrine, because it's 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 really just a section of the law. It's it's the truth. It's just this is how you dealt with a particular situation. You man got emotional, you know, as we see from you know your use of emotive language. You got emotional, and you made it a big deal, you know. Now we never said you in this kingdom you can do that. We never said you should do that. In fact, apostles of blunt said if you do that, you're out of there. You know, you know, because you know, all things are expedient, but all things are lawful, but not all things are expedient, man. Just because it's in the law, it's also in the law to kill homosexuals. Why don't you make a big deal about that? Why don't you go make you know a big? Why why don't you have call it the kill homo doctrine? Why don't you make a big deal about that? Why? Because you're bitch made niggas, man. You 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 well, really true. You just like all these other guys that are out here, man. You just worship women, right? Um, you know, and you know, GMS teaches that God hates all black women. No, have you not heard the apostles say? And you know, the few sisters out there it says GMS teaches that it is evil to raise a family. No, never said that either. You know, but what is taught is that you have to have, you, you have to know. For instance, if you got a woman, what did Paul say? He says, I, I, I'd rather you be like me and be single. You know, but if you burn, do your thing. But I'll have you know, you have a thorn in your flesh. And brothers out there, well, women can testify their woman is a thorn in their flesh. And what did Paul also say? He says, those, those, those with wives be as though they have none. Well, because ultimately, man, in this thing, in this thing right here, especially a lot of you IUIC guys, you're going to realize your woman ain't down with you as, as well as you think you are. As as it's like, as well as, as much as you think she is down. Right? Men should deal with, with, with prostitutes. Oh, you, you can. We never said you should. I mean, pff, see, oh, boy, oh, oh, yeah, it's easier, man. You just do what you got to do. You leave. None of the nagging shit. None of the talking, this, that. And you just do what you do and you can leave. So if you burn, you can relieve yourself, man. Because at the end of the day, man has urges. And ultimately, it's the most high that, that, can, that, that has control over this realm. And if he wants to give you a woman and a family, right, he will. And if he doesn't, he won't. Simple as that. But 
you've got Exodus 20 and 16 here, which says, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy brother. Now, why you I see not to talk about the law, the law, the law, the law, the law, but they're just blunt breaking the law there because none of those things were, were ever said. Right? This is Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all, all, and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which shall follow me in the re regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye shall also sit upon the twelve tribes of the thrones, uh, judging the twelve tribes on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, and everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, for my name's sake. And of course, IYC will be talking about, you know, um, you know, we say it's evil to raise a family because they're all family, 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 because they ain't doing anything for Yahweh Shai's name's sake. Right? But what does Yahweh Shai say? Say, shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Ultimately, look, your woman, your kids, right? You know, you all these men out here that do what they do, you know, push this truth, they do it so that in the hope that not only can they be saved, but that their family can be saved. Right? So, you know, you know, what do they also say? They say they also teach that their only Israel is the most high is dealing with, and that if you do not say the Hebrew name Yahweh, you cannot receive salvation. Right? Uh, so because that Acts 4 and 12 says neither is there any salvation in any other for there is none other name given under heaven among men whereby we must be saved uh, this is the next point it says they teach us it's good to hate your own people right <sighs> Jeremiah 17 and six, 7 and 16 it says therefore pray not for this people neither lift up cry nor prayer for them neither make intercession to me for i will not hear thee so that's the most i'm saying fuck him and he said it's jeremiah jeremiah and he also said it to ezra what does he say to ezra it says second ezra is 8 and 55 it says and therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish because most i was saying fuck him right so I put some of these precepts Right, so Zechariah 13 and 8 says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. So the Most High is saying this. The Most High is saying that two thirds of the people in the land of America will be destroyed. Right, so it's Amos 9 and 10 says, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. So the most I'm saying he's going to kill them and you've got a problem with us saying you hate them. Right, it says Matthew 12 and um, 50. It says, For whosoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. I think I read that prematurely um, because what? He, uh, you know, he goes on into, you know, speaking about, um, you know, hating your own people. In First John, whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. Who, who's our brother? We just read it here. It says in Matthew 12 and 50, for whosoever shall do the will of my father. And the, I want to see ain't doing the will of Yahweh. They, they don't come in the name of Yahweh. You know, they, they come in the name of Christ. Right, and they, and, and they, and they would you call it, you know, there's probably a word for it, but they basically make people feel like there's a problem with saying the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. That's what Esau does, man. Esau will say only will say statements like, "Only a fool believes that the, um, uh, for instance, uh, that the Earth is at the center of the universe." Why? Because your opinion is already made up for you. Because why people like to, um, would you call it conform? So if you're saying only a fool will we'll, we'll, we'll shout and then we'll shout the name, and I ain't gonna say it. Cause I don't. I don't even want to complete the sentence he made, man. You know, but just having no respect once again, right? And it also comes on to say here, um, some of my highlights have gone so I've forgotten what I wanted to uh, speak on.
like pump apparently it's, uh, it's it, uh, you know apparently it's GMS that are following camps from city to city. Do, does not the scripture say build not on another man's foundation? Right? It says there's much more evil they do. Like what? Right. It says finally many of you laugh at the amount of time they speak. They spend speaking evil about other camps. If GMS was godly and thought they had the truth, they would just teach that. Uh, they know, but no one would watch them, so they spend hours speaking evil and condemning every is like camp. That's no scriptures say rebuke, reprove, and exhort with all long suffering, and mark them which cause them. And I, I know it's not the same scripture, mark them that cause divisions, man, and also mark them which sigh and cry. And how do you do that? You do that by getting on people, why? So that the people who understand, and it's also to prevent people going from guys like you, man. Because here it is, once again, you know, just to get views. Mate, mate, the apostles, the apostles always complain about these guys who just come here for entertainment. We know. We know it's a problem. There's a lot of guys who just come here for entertainment. How a white woman obeys black master and the, and the type when they get a million views. There's a lot of guys who just come here for entertainment, but, you know, we don't care about those guys. Because unlike IUIC, the Apostle GMS just talk about the elect. It's for the elect. And the people that come there for the entertainment only. I mean, that's why you'll see a videos. You know, you want, you'll be looking at the view count. It'll be 200 videos, 200 views, 200 views, 4,000, 5,000, then back to 200. Why? Because those two videos there had, had something um, controversial in the title. Right? And peace. And it closes off by saying peace. Not even Shalom or Shalom, peace. Right? And uh, the last thing I want to touch on here, this is our, this is, you know, I thank the Most High and Christ <laughs> that He woke me up and gave me space to repent. I was once part of these wicked Negroes. But, and this is something else, because that, that geezer are from London, man, that fell out. Or rather, the geezer are from London who, who fell out, him and his old camp, man. Like, my, he also said, Most I shall be. Right, and that's, that's, I think that's a common thing with these guys. They always say the most I showed me, but they completely forget Yahweh Shai. Because what does Yahweh Shai say? John 14 and 6 says, Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Right? You know, like, uh, so like I said, I, I missed some of my highlights, but, um, you know, this is going on long enough. So I hope you both were edified, man, and, you know, Really and truly, you have to always pray and thank you, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, that you know you found the elders and apostles of GMS, or well, the apostles and the elders of GMS, man. Because we could have been down with this doctrine, we could have been down with these bug outs. You know they can they can call us bombs. The scriptures say the Son of Man hath nowhere to lay his head. No, but with that, I'm going to say Shalom.